Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the third problem of today's bi-weekly contest, split array into maximum number of subarrays. The problem states that you are given an array nums consisting of non-negative integers and you as the score of a particular subarray is defined as the bitwise and of all the elements in that subarray. Now we have to return the maximum number of subarray that we can split the given array into. Now the condition of the split is each element should belong to exactly one subarray and the sum of scores, notice the score was defined as the bitwise and, sum of scores of the subarrays in the split should be minimum possible. Right. So let's take an example, let's say this is the given array 1 0 2 0 1 2. We have to split the array. So let's say we split the array into three parts, first part having 1 and 0, second part having 2 and 0 and third part having 1 and 2. Now first of all, is it a valid split? The answer is yes because uh, if you find out the score of first subarray, it would be 1 bitwise and of 0 which will be 0. The score of second subarray 2 bitwise and of 0 again 0. The score of third subarray 1 bitwise and with 2 again 0. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is 0 which is the minimum possible sum you can get because all the elements are non-negative. So the minimum possible sum is 0 and you are getting 0. So because it is minimum possible sum and the sum uh, the given split into three parts is a valid split. Now you can try any other combination. You will not be able to split the given array into more than three pieces such that the sum of score of all the pieces is zero. Hence the answer here is three. So hope the problem should make sense. Now whenever a problem involving bitwise operations is given to you and the problem seems a bit complex always try to solve simplify the problem and try to solve the simplified version first because if you are not able to solve the simplified version the solving the original version is harder so let's do the same let's say we are simplifying the problem saying that the given array can or the given numbers can just have one bit so either they can be zero or they can be one right so this is the simplified version. The, we are given an array of ones and zeros. We need to figure out the exact same thing. Basically, the num maximum number of splits such that the sum of score is minimum possible. So, two things, right? First, maximum number of splits, and second, the score should be minimum possible. Now, for the sum of score to be minimum possible, let's just try to find out what is the minimum possible sum. So, what is our target we need to achieve? Let's try to find that first. So what will be the minimum possible score sum of this given subarray? The answer is it will be either 0 or 1, right? If it is 0 or whenever there is at least one 0 in the given subarray, you can just take everything in a single subarray or in a single split and you are sure that there is at least one zero so bitwise and of everything will be zero and hence zero is the minimum possible sum in this particular scenario but if there is no zero at all that means everything is one in that case the sum uh, the bitwise and of everything is one and that is the minimum possible sum which you can get now Let's talk about the second case first where everything is 1 or where the bitwise or maximum sum possible is 1. So what we are saying is maximum sum possible is 1 right? and we have to divide this array into maximum number of pieces. So let's say we divide the array into some pieces, uh, let's say 3 pieces. What we want? We want the sum of everything to be equals to 1. So and this, all these will be positive integers. So, is it possible to make the sum of everything equals to 1? 
if everything is positive the answer is no this two of them should be zero for sure and then one can be one this can be a valid combination or otherwise it is not possible right so can there be zero at all in this particular array the answer is no why what does zero mean zero mean there is a subarray the score of this subarray is equals to zero but we already know that the bitwise end of complete subarray is one it means everything is one so all these numbers if you do bitwise end it would be coming as one so that's where zero is not possible at all right so if zero is not possible it means you can't make any we you can't make a split of greater than one number right because if you take a split of greater than one number you have to do some summation that sums up to one but that is not possible so that's where if the given array contains all ones the answer is one right basically there is just one particular sub array in the final split and that particular sub array is the complete array itself right so hope this point makes sense now let's talk about the second scenario which is bit interesting basically the given array can contain zero as well so in this case we know that the maximum possible sorry in this case we know that the maximum possible sum that we need to have is zero in other words what we want is we want the sum of some numbers to be zero and what are these numbers these are the score of each of the subarrays right so what is the what can be the possible values of this blank spaces the possible values would be zero that's the only possible value right there is no other possible value um, no other possible way where you can get the sum as zero if everything else is positive or greater than equals to zero right so this is the only possible way so in other words what we need to find is we need to find the number of subarrays maximum number of subarrays such that the bitwise end of each of the subarray is zero right so that's what our new problem is so how to solve this problem now bitwise and should be zero right so if bitwise and for bitwise and to be zero there should be zero or at least one zero in that particular subarray right so let's say you start from here because you are trying to figure out the subarray where zero will be a part of right so you know that you need at least until here because if you don't include one this part in itself cannot become zero right so you have to include at least one zero right after that you may include this or you may say okay i will not include this that's up to you but you have to include up till here for sure right so once we have find it can can we do this or can we take a subarray like this the answer is simple we should take a smaller subarray such that because if we take the smaller subarray the next element that we were taking might get combined with something else to form another zero right so this entire subarray has become a zero so this subarray is fine you may or may not include the next elements but if you include the element here it will not affect anything here because everything is already zero right so that's where the first time you get zero you would want to split your subarray at that instant always because that's where you will under, you will make sure that you are taking only what you need and rest you are giving it to you are giving others to chance to form some pairs that can uh, make a good subarray so in this particular case this is one possible subarray and then you will start the next subarray from here you will see okay this is this in itself is a good subarray so you will just keep it like this 
the third subarray will now start from here and you will keep on going forward until you get a zero so we get a zero from here so this is now a good subarray so we will simply put a split here the next subarray would start from here this would be in itself zero so this is a good subarray next subarray should start with eight this is a good subarray again and next subarray would start with nine and this is a good subarray again so in total we got one two three four five and six six subarrays that are that have uh, we are able to divide the given subarray into six subarrays such that the bitwise and in each of these subarray is equals to zero in other words if you find out the score and sum them all up they will be minimum possible right so hope this smaller version makes sense if you have any doubts in this simplified version of the problem i would encourage you to rewind and understand this piece before moving forward so just to just to recap we have two things if the bitwise and of everything is one in other words if everything is one then the answer is one if everything is not one that is at least one zero is there then you just have to find out the maximum number of subarrays such that there is at least one zero in each of the subarray now how you will do that you will simply keep on going forward until you hit a zero as soon as you hit a zero we will just stop there and start a new subarray so that will make sure that you are only taking so much that will help you make a good subarray and rest you are giving to others you are giving to others so that they can also make a good subarray so that's what the simplified version was now let's move forward and solve the original problem where the given array can contain multiple bits right so this is one of the array which uh, which contains multiple bits here so not only 0 and 1 other numbers are there how to solve this first of all again the same strategy we will figure out what is the minimum possible sum and then we will try to divide the subarray and such that we get minimum possible sum if we sum the score of everything so what is the minimum possible sum here the minimum possible sum would again be the bitwise and of complete subarray why because if you include a new element the chances are that new element would reduce some of the bit to zero so basically current element is 5 right now if current element is 5 the next element is 9 right so notice that this bit is zero no one else can ever set this bit because you are doing a bitwise end so this bit will always be zero no matter what the number was afterwards but this bit is one right now if we take other numbers there might be chances that the other number has the has this bit as zero and if that's the case the bitwise and would be zero and the sum would further decrease right so that's where if we keep on taking the elements the probability of getting lesser sum or lesser numbers will increase so basically if we do the bitwise and of everything we will get the minimum possible sum or minimum possible score that we can have right now let's call this score as s so s again can either be zero or be non zero right so if s is non zero or s is greater than zero what does this mean this mean that let's say in s there are some bits set right so let's say this and this bit are set in s so if this two bit are set in s it means these bits are set in all the numbers that are present in the array whichever number you take this bit should be present why because if some of them doesn't have this bit then this bit would surely be zero in s but because it is set in s it means in every of these numbers this bit is present so what does this mean this mean that you have to 
split the array again the same same trick that we have discussed in the previous uh, uh, smaller version we have to divide the array and the sum should be s now no matter which subarray you take you will get at least s here because the those bits are set so you will get something greater than equals to s but at least s is there similarly in this as well at least s will be there and in this as well at least this will have a score of s and if you sum everything all up the total sum would surely be greater than s if the number of partition is greater than 1 so the same uh, same inference is applied here if the given if the bitwise and of the complete subarray is greater than 0 it means the answer is simply 1 that is only one split is possible which is the complete array itself now let's talk about the case where s is equals to 0 so what does this mean it means that we have to divide this array such that the sum of score is 0 and what are the what is the possible case for this everything should be 0 no other possible scenario right so again the problem is again same we have to divide the array into subarrays such that each subarray sum uh, each subarray score is 0 so let's start with this we have this should be a part of some some sub some subarray so let's start with this so the current bitwise and is 5 let's take 9 so bitwise and of 5 and 9 is 1 so let's take another 9 bitwise and of 1 and 9 is also 1 so let's take let's move forward 7 bitwise and of 7 and 1 is also 1 let's take 1 bitwise and of 1 and 1 is also 1 now let's take 7 bitwise and of 7 and 1 is also 1 and let's take 8 now bitwise and of 1 and 8 is 0 so basically this 5 should at least be a part of this subarray anything less would not work because in anything less one or the first bit is set in everything this is the first number where the first bit was unset so basically this is the first subarray which is a uh, which bitwise sum is zero right now second subarray would start from here again you can take 4 into this subarray as well no issues but you will not want to do that why because you will say that okay i know that up till here is the requirement so let's stop here and start a new subarray afterwards so that the new subarray get as many elements as possible and greater the number of element greater the chances that the bitwise and will be zero right so we'll start our subarray from here if you see bitwise and of 4 and 4 is 4 bitwise and of 4 and 6 is also 4 so basically you are not able to find any subarray that is such that the score is 0 so what you will do you will say okay i will just merge these remainder into the last good subarray because last good subarray you know everything was 0 so if you add some numbers to it nothing will change the bitwise and will still remain zero so that's basically the algorithm we will simply start we'll simply start by taking out finding out what is the minimum sum minimum sum can be find out by doing the bitwise and of the entire subarray if the bitwise and is greater than zero the answer will always be one if the bitwise and is equal to zero we need to find out total number of subarrays maximum number of subarrays such that the bitwise and of each of the subarray is equal to zero and the way to find it find that out is you will start from the beginning and figure out the first subarray the sub where this first element should belong to as soon as you get a zero you will stop there and start a new subarray from the next number and you will keep on doing this until you exhausted the array and finally you will get the total number of subarrays that you can form so hope this entire solution makes sense if you have watched to this point, I would strongly encourage you to pause and try to code this entire thing by yourself. The, the solution would be very straightforward as um, you just have to figure out bitwise and and figure out the 
subarray range that contains that such that bit wise and is zero. So next we're looking at the code, but I would strongly encourage you to pause and try to get this submitted by yourself. So the code is exactly what we have discussed in the algorithm. We will simply find out the bitwise and of the entire subarray. That is the minimum sum possible. If bitwise and is not zero, we have to return one because we already discussed one. Uh, there is no way to split the array such that the sum is equals to this particular small smallest sum. Now, otherwise, we will simply figure out what is the total number of subarrays such that the bitwise and is equals to zero. So we will simply start from the beginning. We will keep on ticking the elements until the bitwise and becomes zero. As soon as it becomes zero, we know that we found one valid subarray. So we will simply increment our sugar. So we will keep on doing this, and finally, the result will contain the total number of subarrays that such that the bitwise and of each of them is equals to zero. Now notice that it might happen that some of the elements might be left at the end and uh, what we are saying is we, are we, are, we can freely move these elements back to the last good subarray because nothing will change, these elements will not change anything in the last good subarray. So hope the entire solution makes sense, if you have any doubts feel free to post them in the comments below, I would be happy to answer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.